What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet playing on Nintendo Switch. Uh, just doing a Link Battles tonight. Join on in. Link code's on the screen 0858. Alright, first battle of the night going up against Shay and his new team. Shay slash Drake the Dragon. Drake Dragon the Dragon here. <laughs> Ooh, Dunsparce the Great against Glamora the regular. <laughs> Glamora the just okay. <laughs> Stealth Rocks! Doing good, glad to hear, Drake. Now you're covered with rocks. He's coiling up now. <laughs> he's getting, he's coiled and ready to strike. <laughs> Look out! That brings up your accuracy, your defense, and your attack power. Mortal Spin! He might try and power up multiple times. If he does, the poison's gonna do, do a number on him. Oh, substitute. That's a good move right there. Thankfully I got the poison in when I did. <laughs> Power gem! Uh, this isn't just a lead, it's a pretty powerful Pokemon too. And breaks the substitute, good. Yeah, call mine. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. He just coiled, which increases his attack and defense and accuracy. And now call mine, which increases his special defense and his special attack. So yeah, he is like let's take a look at this. Yeah, there you go, right there. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and accuracy. It's all up right there. <laughs> Power gem. I want to see what he's going to do here. I think he's going to... Bat baton pass, there it is. Nice. Okay, so he passed all those stats off to whoever, he, whoever replaces him. Who's replacing him? Should he use substitute first? You know what? It wouldn't have been a bit Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you on that one. I don't have any meta commentary. Sometimes I just don't. <laughs> and Stealth Rock's already paying for itself right there. And Intimidate brings down the attack. Okay. So now we got a powerful Gyarados to worry about. Mortal Spin! Yeah, we'll poison that Gyarados. <laughs> Dang, Tim with all the poison. Yeah, Mortal Spin doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Ooh, a Rocky Helmet. Okay, cool. But, yeah, ooh, Taunt. Alright. <laughs> taunt, Taunt. Alright, yeah, you've done it now. You have done it now. <laughs> Power Gem! Power Gem's like a really cool looking attack. It's a, it's a, it's a straight up uh, rock type special attack. Oh, nice. And poison spikes. There you go. <laughs> toxic debris everywhere. So you got stealth rocks and toxic debris to worry about. Thankfully, Glimmore is down. But unfortunately, though, poison. <laughs> Bring the dragon down. Alright. We brought down the shiny Gyarados. <laughs> we can now make sushi. <laughs> I always wondered how that would taste like. Pokemon... Pokemon Sushi, I don't know. <laughs> God, yeah, I wonder, some of these Pokemon, they look delicious. <laughs> Give an example, frickin' Al Creme. <laughs> you know, there's some gourmet out there hunting those things to extinction. <laughs> oh, Dunsparce is back out, alright. I don't know what he's gonna do here. I'm gonna make it rain though. Yeah, that brings down a special attack, but that's okay. I didn't know what he was gonna do there. I really didn't know what he was gonna do there. <laughs> Wanted to be ready for anything. Because I know he coiled, he called mine, he substituted, and he... okay, yeah, I guess that's all four. And then baton passed. 
And he wasn't gonna use Substitute, though. Here we go, Palafin. There's the stones and the poison. happen here. It was a sacrifice. I figured that, yeah, flip turn. Oh. Nice. Palafin went back to Shay, so yeah, that when that thing comes back out, uh, it's gonna go from zero to hero form. Very interesting ability, just, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see another Pokemon try to copy that. <laughs> it can't copy it, but still, it'd be a nice idea. See Magikarp go from zero to hero. <laughs> Dragapult the Great. It's always the Great with you. <laughs> Can't just order pizza. It has to be Pizza the Great. <laughs> All right, Hex. Yeah, you might have. Yeah. The thing I like about this team is the poison spikes and the use of Hex with Goldungo. <laughs> Goldungo is already a very powerful ghost type Pokemon, and Hex, with uh, yeah, any Pokemon that comes out just gets poisoned, so yeah, it's. I wasn't sure what he was gonna send out. I mean, there are a number of things he could have sent out, but I don't I did not I don't remember seeing a poison type, so I knew the poison spikes was gonna be a problem at this juncture in the game. It's a funny word, juncture. <laughs> juncture. Juncture. Alright, what do you got for me? Toxic spikes and rocks messed up your team, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I would try to find a Pokemon that could, like, rapid spin or something to take care of them. Oh, Flare Blitz. Uh, ow! It's my only washing machine, careful! <laughs> Thankfully he has leftovers. And poison, of course. <laughs> Cause why not? Protect. <laughs> Gotta protect that warranty. <laughs> you don't understand, it's an extended warranty. <laughs> it's a 90 day warranty, you can't do anything too reckless with this washing machine. Alright, washing machine's now back in the green, and the Flareon is in the orange. Flareon has huts. Do toxic orbs doesn't work. What? I mean, he's already poisoned, so... Oh, it has guts. Okay. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, the poison spikes... Yeah, that's what that did. The poison spikes... Basically just poisoned him, so... You would have had to wait a turn if, if it was for the toxic orb. Alright, Palafin's back out. And he's in hero form! And even heroes take damage from stealth rocks. Helped him more than anything? Yes, it did. Oh, dang. Alright, he's ready to play. <laughs> Yeah, he's mad now. He's gone full, full water. Better protect. <laughs> Wave crash. No dice. I gotta protect my investment. Also, I kinda wanna let poison do its damage. Crash, oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I'll be surprised. I mean, this thing's just a ridiculously powerful attack. I'm a sub I am so surprised right now that he was able to withstand that Volt Switch. Yeah. 
but I did I did uh, boost the defense pretty well on this Rotom. Just because it, the way it's set up, it doesn't have a particular weakness. The only weakness on this thing is grass type attacks. So yeah. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Single Dungo back out. Work for. <laughs> It's a good team. He's got a good idea here. We haven't seen we haven't seen the Jolteon yet. The Jolteon's coming soon. I'm trying to remember what else there was. As far as guts Pokemon go, I believe there are better ones than Flareon. Uh, I think Heracross is a good one. Actually, uh, hold on. I can pull up a list of them real quick. Flareon's good too if you're looking for like just a strong fire type. Definitely need Rapid, where Cyclos are, right? <laughs> Shadow Ball! Yeah, that's the thing about the Eevee Evolutions, they can learn Ghost type attack, they can all learn Shadow Ball. <laughs> and Hex. I've made this point before in uh, Pokemon teams. You want to use Pokemon that complement each other? <laughs> For instance, uh, like I said before, Glimora has Toxic Spikes, and uh, Goldongo can use Hex. Good game, guy. Uh, good game, Shay. Here we go. Taking on Jericho! How did he get that picture? <laughs> oh, he's wearing a bike. He's wearing a full head bike helmet. <laughs> All right. So that's Storm Journer and Roaring Moon. And first turn, we're gonna Protosynthesis. Do booster energy, that'll bring my speed up. Alright, let the battle begin. Uh, tch -tch -tch. I'm not taking any chances against this guy. He's got... <laughs> he's got Mew and Mewtwo in his back pocket. <laughs> and they're, sh they're both shiny. Let's not take chances here. Don Jerner gonna protect. These acrobatics here. This thing, yeah, that was gonna be a problem early on that Great Tusk. I want to snipe that thing now before, yeah. <laughs> Great Ninja's got Focus Blast. Ooh, nice. I am glad I terrestrialized when I did. Holy crap. Yeah, that Focus Blast would have wrecked me. Oh, you need the drops. Okay. If I would have Earthquake, it would have dropped... So, uh, it wouldn't, uh, yeah. It's only I think it's only physical contact. So if you had used Earthquake on Glamora, it would not have uh, triggered the Toxic Spikes. I might be wrong on that. Ooh, another... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Something's not right here. I think one of them's an impasta. All right, uh... <laughs> Acrobatics. I'm gonna choose door number two. <laughs> Ah! Wrong one! <laughs> Dark Soul got a shiny Lechonk. Okay. Yeah, there's the real one I was trying to get. <laughs> Dang you. Thankful. Thank I'm so thankful for Focus Sash on this Don Jerner. Alright, low kick him. Yeah. <laughs> and here comes Sandy Shocks. All right, now we got a problem here. <laughs> gonna protect with Stone Journer. I really gotta learn the name if it's Stone Journer or Stone Journer. Jaw lock him. 
Maybe the Pokemon can run away now. So Shock's gonna Earth Power protected. Wasn't sure who he was going after there. It was a 50-50. Okay, he's gunk shotting me. Ew! Oh, you got your goo all over my beautiful roaring moon with balloons on his head. How dare you. <laughs> this is why we can't have anything nice. <laughs> all right, uh... Shuriken, nice. <laughs> and that's a, yeah, speed priority attack. Did not see that one coming. I probably should have. I think next time, Roaring Moon plus Salamence combo. That would be interesting, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about using too many of the same type Pokemon. I would diversify a little more. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, the poison's starting to hurt. So now Maridon. Finally said that name right. <laughs> the longest time I've been calling uh, Maridon. Now drawing engine kicks in. Yep. my team a speed boost. Gunk shot. Yeah, 80% accuracy on that thing. <laughs> Bullet seed! Salamence is a setup and helper for Roaring Moon, that's what I figured. <laughs> Dark Soul got it, nice. And there goes the green engine, now we gotta worry about Electro Drift, yeah. That's gonna bring him down, you know what? Roaring Moon did good. <laughs> And with that poison, he wasn't going to last too much longer, so yeah. You did good, buddy. You earned a nap. And a cookie. <laughs> cookie and a nap. <laughs> Sorry if I'm late. I uh, took a shower, then played Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Dang, you're, you got this whole life thing figured out. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, good move. Oracle Compulse. And you just triggered both my protosynthesis, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so that boosts his attack, root bonds attack, I think it boosted the uh, speed of Sandy Shocks. So this is gonna be a very interesting battle. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Me less than life? What, really? Nah, dude. You are equal to life. <laughs> you are equal to or greater than life. <laughs> Earth power! Get out of here, Maridon. <laughs> and that tailwind's coming, paying for itself right now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Perhaps not. Yeah, it's not gonna speed up Earth Bond enough. Sorry, buddy. That would work. Okay. So now, Ndidi the Gourmet. Also, your Scarlet Save Day. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, I, I just gotta owe this out. Oh! Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not good times. Alright, here we go. Thunderbolt! Yeah, that uh, electric. Oh no, wait, I changed the train, never mind. <laughs> and psychic. Yeah, Tailwind is one of those team moves. It's, it's one of those moves that's better in double battles. 
because it, it uh, helps it, it helps slower teammates speed up and take down big giants like Karadon. Good game there, Jericho. Jericho had some interesting moves that caught me off guard. That was a fun battle. Good game. Alright, next round, multi battle. Teaming up with Shay to take on the M Dog and Jericho. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about getting Fortnite creative. I'm just wondering how much space it's gonna take up on my PC. And there's Tim with his non shiny Pokemon boo. <laughs> uh oh, Mothra. Oh, you're gonna get it now. You are gonna get it now. <laughs> that is a fast elephant, by the way. <laughs> Just head smashing his way right through there. There we go. Salamence used Tailwind. Good move, Salamence. Thanks for the power up, and I will avenge you. Bullet Seed! There's one. And there's two. Can we go for three? How about four? Yes! And five? Oh, we don't even need the five. Okay. You're gonna need Pokedex help? Well, amazing. At least I uh, got time to do it summer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me know, uh, uh, cool dude, in the, in the uh, Discord channel. Uh, link to that Discord channel is in the description below. Sleep Powder, are you kidding me? Yeah, you're gonna get it. <laughs> Salamence is so bulky, he better be bulky. <laughs> We got, uh, we got dragons coming. Electric terrain, ooh. Dang! Dang, the electric terrain would have kept him awake. <laughs> Alright, Salamence is fast asleep. I figured that much. I'm gonna crunch this thing. Dragon Pulse, yeah. Well, at least he was bulky. He was bulky enough to take a head smash and a Dragon Pulse, so. And acid spray. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Special defense harshly fell. That's gonna hurt. Sylveon, yay! That's a, that's a weird camera angle. It was sorry, you missed it, but yeah, it was a weird camera angle. It was like down a little bit more. They, like they usually like high up, about like right here. Camera was like right right there. <laughs> Just caught me off guard for a second. Hyper voice. Night, <laughs> dang. <laughs> Did he have Throat Spray on that? Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering why that was super effective, uh, Sylveon's hidden ability is, what is it, uh, the, the Pixelate. And uh, yeah, that turns a normal move into a Fairy-type move. And Sylveon's already ridiculously strong as far as special attack goes, so... And it's a double attack, so yeah, basically it's gonna... It's gonna knock over dragons pretty well. Really, anything weak to fa uh, fairy type monsters or fairy type attacks. All right, dark sky and fighting dragon, and sun dragon. <laughs> I think they kind of counter each other here. <laughs> One brings sunlight, the other brings clouds. I don't know, <laughs> night. <laughs> too contradictory. Uh, electric terrain is not doing me any favors right now. Here. Ooh, alright. Alright, he's gearing up. Boom! Full fighting type. That was actually a pretty smart move right there. 
If he does take damage from Sylveon's attack, by making him a fighting type, he will take less damage than it would be if it was a dragon fighting type. Well, now it's a stronger fairy type. Oh no, it's uh... Okay, he's a fairy type now. <laughs> I mean, he's adorable, don't get me wrong. Hyper Voice! Yep. Okay, so Koreadon took less damage, but still was enough to get the knockout. And I think that fairy terrestrialization might have saved uh, Umbreon. But not from the Bullet Seeds. There's one. And two. And three. I love, I love the loaded dice item. <laughs> and four. It's almost a guaranteed four to five hits. So yeah, it's like a guaranteed four hits. I've seen... I've seen some people get three with it, even yeah, even when they have loaded dice, I've seen them like like roll a three. And there goes the tailwind, alright. Here comes Ghost Claw the Great. Again with the Great. How do I get the Great title? I want the Great. <laughs> Give me the Great. <laughs> yeah, they had their turn last time. Now it's our turn. That thing's gonna be straight fairy. No fire. <laughs> that fairy is straight fire. <laughs> Actually, kind of looks cool with the candelabra on its head. All right, my turn. <laughs> Let's see what your sailor transfer moon, your sailor moon transformation will look like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not much better. <laughs> Hyper voice. Not enough. Let me let me oh, torch song. I think that terrestrialization saved Brute Bonnet there. Oh, and lost some HP, yep. Yeah. Crunch fitness! Feel the crunch. There we go. Alright, good game guys. Sylveon, yeah, Sylveon. Sylveon was awesome. That Sylveon Hyper Voice, that, uh, I've, it's time tested and it works well. Alright, last battle of the night. Here we go. Multi battle. Teaming up with, I think it was, uh, I forgot who I'm teaming up with. I'm teaming up against, uh, Vermilk and Sleepy. They got their shinies. And so do I. And so do we. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has shiny Pokemon here. Are we good? Cool. Alright. Fake out. Yeah, I'm not letting you do anything in first turn. <laughs> Owie! That's <laughs> yeah, gonna bring a special attack down. Ice Beam! Protein, turn him into an Ice type. Yes! Cyclos are down. I don't want that thing using Shed Tail. <laughs> I already demonstrated earlier how Shed Tail can be devastating in battles. Single battles, precisely, but uh. I never tried it in a double battle scenario. I have to, might have to experiment with that. Drew Fluttermane, good move. Probably trying to preserve Flutter Fluttermane. Ooh, burp on it. Night Slash! Money's man. Oh, he's gonna make it rain, watch out. Dang! Not very effective on Mekiyama, but but critical hit on Darkness, holy crap. And that will bring a special attack down, but yeah. Darkness, uh... Darkness had to pay the money man there. Not much there, I just wanted to get him back, pull him back. Not mysterious. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's she sending out? Tennis balls is for milk. Okay, good to know. 
Catnip! <laughs> so many shinies here. Blast. I don't like that mushroom. <laughs> I really do not like that mushroom. <laughs> it's got a tail. It shouldn't have a tail. <laughs> Why you have tail? <laughs> and I think Catnip was uh, gunning for uh, for Bonnet. I apologize for that, but hopefully you got the intended result, though. So, Ghost Claw! Ooh, good move. So I feel like he's gonna use make it. Nope, he's using recover. Okay. I thought he was gonna make it rain, but I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we got we guessed wrong, and now we have to pay for that. More money jokes. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we got. <laughs> he's copying me. <laughs> I don't like him copying me. Shadow Ball. Oh, come on with that now. He just completely volleyed my Shadow Ball into, cru into, oh, into Ghost Claw. How dare you. <laughs> Hex. That's going to do some damage, not a lot, because he did uh, lose some special attack when he used Make It Rain. All right, Catnip. <laughs> I think that's his last... Yeah, that's his last one there, so... Yeah, I, I can't leave that. I can't leave that flutter main out. It's fast. Its special attack is crazy. It knows moon blast. It could probably tear through uh, catnip in one shot. But yeah, night slash. There we go. It turned into a straight dark type. It almost got the kill there. Ooh, a critical hit. Nice. We're gonna make it rain though. Dang it. And what was with the critical hits tonight? <laughs> Ugh, and I'm on my own now. All right. Well, th hey, thanks for the help, though. I appreciate that. I think I can probably I can probably still pull this out. It's gonna be close, though. So not decidui. All right. I'm down to two. See what happens here. Yeah, this isn't looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good. Let's we'll see. Oh, there's one. And there's two. And oh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> that was a gift right there. Restores HP. It's eh. kind of going for the knockout there, so. <laughs> Spirit Shackle, that should bring him down. I think that's what he was counting on with the recover. The recover just saved him. Now he's going to recover again. Yep. I'm so glad they brought the PP down for recover to five. Not that you're going to use it more than five times, it's just some people will spam it. They just go crazy with it, you know? Alright, I got a mushroom. <laughs> Good luck, me. <laughs> I should have brought him out earlier for support, but... Yeah, it, uh, I got one side way too fast. Back to get a snack. Oh, you went. Oh, you back. Went to get a snack. Okay. Yeah, you're just in time to watch. <laughs> watch it literally rain on my parade. <laughs> I'm not giving up though. 
First, I'm putting that bird to sleep. <laughs> Since you're fast asleep, yeah, that's really all I can do right now. Nasty plot. Okay, he's gonna he's gearing up. <laughs> gearing up for one last all-out assault. And, all I, and my only attack is Pollen Puff. And that I don't even I don't even think that did one damage to him. I didn't see that health bar move at all. <laughs> So do I still sleep? Yeah. A nasty plot again. Pollen Puff. Is that? It's a. D, it's an interesting attack because it can actually heal, heal your teammates. Yeah. This is. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a train wreck happening right now. There it is. Okay. Please end it. Oh God! You're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me by not killing me. Kill me. <laughs> and me, thank you. <laughs> it did two da- oh, it did two damage. All, all two of it, are you sure? <laughs> you want to count that again? Okay. <laughs> Alright, good game, guys. Jericho and four milk, you got your revenge on me. <laughs> and thank you too, Dog, for the assist. I appreciate that. Good game, guys. And... That is going to wrap things up for tonight's live stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned tomorrow night's live stream. Uh, tomorrow night's live stream is going to be Splatoon 3 at 9 p.m. Eastern. And on Sunday, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're doing Fortnite. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Games signing off. And have a good night, guys.